when you found out you got this part? Oh, well, first of all, I had to like audition, I want to say like eight times. <laughs> so it was like, you know, the, by the third time, I'm like, oh my gosh, just give it to me already. You know, I know her. Um, I, I want to say like, when I first read her, like I just felt like she fit me like a glove, not because I'm like her, but because I know people like her and I knew exactly sort of her needs and wants. And so it was really exciting because I, I just wanted them to give me the opportunity to kind of create and make her like real. So for those of uh, the audience who haven't watched the movie yet, how would you describe her personality in a nutshell? Yeah, so she's a lover. <laughs> she's just a lover. And, you know, and she'll love whatever is in front of her at the time, you know. Doesn't mean her love is loyal, but um, it's, you know, it's intense. So everything she does, she does fully, you know. So whether it's like social activism or veganism or, you know, being polyamorous, you know, whatever it is, like she'll, she'll commit to it fully um, for the time. So you said you know people who are like that. How did you, how else did you tap into that persona and like really like sell that? Well, you know, I think sometimes like being an actor, you kind of have to be like almost as like a psychotherapist or a behavioral, you know, doctor where you're like constantly observing behaviors and just, you know, like kind of figuring out like, why do people act like that? Why? You know, like, I feel like sometimes even when I'm driving and like someone cuts me off, I'm like sitting there like wondering like, why did that guy do that? Like I gotta figure this out, you know? Um, so because I'm constantly studying like motives and, you know, reasoning, I, I realize like Jenny's like deep wounds are that she like she's never loved and lo you know, love is never enough. So I just use that as like a fuel to kind of keep it. You know. And finally, playing off of that last comment that you said, that love is never enough for her, what else is important other than love? What, what else is necessary to a thriving relationship other than love? I don't think she has like so, sort of like these social norms of like, you know, a relationship. I think she kind of lives in the moment and whatever in the moment she needs, she will just go after it. And one thing I think like is kind of you know, courageous of Jenny is that she goes for it and doesn't worry if she's going to be rejected, you know, even if it's like Keanu, you know, <laughs> she'll just go for it. And like, who doesn't love someone who just like goes for it, you know, even if it's like super annoying or ambitious or, you know, it's still, you understand why or, you know, um, so as long as like, I think as long, you know, she's very um, authentic to her needs. You gotta shoot for the stars and stay true to yourself. <laughs> well, thank you so much and, and good luck.